Hello everyone. Welcome to the Analytics Mastery Club. In 1999, stock price of Nike dropped by 20% and Nike suffered sales loss of $100 million. Do you know the reason for this loss? Well, the reason for this loss was due to poor management of supply chain. Proper management of company can make company or break company. Today, every organization runs a lot of data using supply chain analytics. It can improve forecast and operational efficiencies. Using supply chain analytics, any company can enhance productivity, optimize demand and thereby reduce cost as well. Well, let's learn about supply chain analytics. So, supply chain analytics is the use of data in the design, planning and management of supply chain. An important goal of supply chain analytics is to improve forecasting and efficiency and be more responsive to customer needs. Moving on, the types of supply chain analytics techniques and matrix are as follows. Firstly, stock turnover ratio and stock pressure. Stock turnover ratio indicates the number of days the present stock will last with the outlets, assuming the current rate of sales of the respective product. Stock pressure indicates how well is the brand stocked in relative to your competitors. These two matrix helps company in maintaining stock at outlets. Secondly, forecasting of sales. Forecasting of sales helps organization in two ways, determining future revenue and planning for future demand. We will use forecasting function in Excel to forecast future sales of company. Thirdly, numeric and weighted out of stock percentage. Numeric out of stock is measurement of number stores where company brand is out of stock and weighted out of stock is calculation of opportunity loss due to out of stock in high throughput stores. Fourthly, vehicle routing problem analysis. This analysis helps supply chain team to manage proper route of vehicle so that delivery is at optimum time and less efforts. The vehicle routing problem solves following question. What is the optimal set of routes for a fleet of vehicles to traverse in order to deliver to a given set of customers? Finally, order fill rate and perfect order matrix. Order fill rate is defined as percentage of orders that can be filled based on the inventory at hand. And perfect order matrix takes into account various matrix it is a dynamic KPI that checks factors like if the shipment has been delivered at the right time, in the right condition, to the right customer and with the correct invoice. So we end our session here. Thus, in this session, we learned about supply chain analytics and techniques used in analysis. In next session, we will learn in deep about first supply chain analytics techniques that is stock turnover ratio and stock pressure. Thank you.